based historical American racism, the same racism that led to the genocide against the Indians, the same racism that led to the enslavement of the Africans, the same, same racism that led to the stealing of the Hawaiian Islands, the same racism that led to the colonization of Cuba, Puerto Rico, the Philippines, the concentration camps, the Jim Crow racism, all this anti-Islamic racism, all of this re-entrenching anti-Mexican racism, all of this re-entrenching racism, we have a, a counter to that. The good people who, who realize, I don't want to live like that. I don't want to be like that. Who's offering them an alternative? We should be able to say, look at our community. We have a no racism zone in our community. Look at our message. Not only are the people praying together, black, white, brown, red, yellow, <laughs> even if there were polka dot or purple people, they could pray in the Jama'at too. Hello, Sahlan. Uh, what's your name? Purple Hayes. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Brother Purple Hayes. Are you related to Bob Hayes? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Tafadlan. Alhamdulillah. That's we should be able to, but not only they're praying together, they're running the affairs of the community together. They're sharing in the authority in the community together. It's not just, oh, you're welcome to pray, but don't ask for a seat on the board. We don't accept you people. No, we should have racism-free community, and it's a, it'll serve as a model for the rest of the society should serve as a model for the rest of society. We should have justice in our communities. We should have uh, a dynamic relationship between the brothers and sisters in the community within the guidelines of Sharia, where the, the same racism you can see, you can make the same argument for sexism, where, where women are exploited and abused and, 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 and used in a cheap way in many instances. You can't walk into a car shop, right? Without seeing a woman caressing a giant monkey wrench on the wall or laying over the hood of a car. That's liberating the woman. We say, look, look at the dignity of our Muslim sisters. Look at the beauty of the hijab, the beauty of the, the, the clothing of the Muslim women. And that's a model for the rest of society. We have something to offer, so we should believe in that. And we should believe we can save the kingdom. We can go back. So Simba went back, he saved the kingdom. And we should go back from here with a belief charged up by being in the, the company of the Prophet وسلم, for 10 days that seemed like an eternity. Look at the barakah and the time. Seeing all of these signs, walking where he walked, وسلم, drinking from the water he drank from وسلم, being covered with the dust that covered his feet وسلم, the same dust covering our feet the same dust tip, dipped on our tongues وسلم, and then going on uh, Sunday inshallah to the house of Allah and making tracing his footsteps at the Kaaba and tracing the footsteps of his ancestors and tracing his footsteps on Safa and Marwa and drinking from the same Zamzam that Hajar drank from, that Ismail drank from, that all those generations and generations and centuries and millennia or centuries of millennia of people dedicated to the worship of Allah Ta'ala drank from. If we can't leave this place reinvigorated, recharged, Re, with a renewed conviction that we have a cure to offer for the sicknesses and diseases of the people of this world, then who can? And that should be our attitude. If not us, who? Not, not arrogantly, but just realizing the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us. Say, so, oh, is, is that those days are gone when Muslims thought like that. Or read about it in the book. Or, like the uh, man said, there's no futua in that. There's no futua in that. There's no youthful courage in that. 
they, they, they're going all of these ways. And Allah Ta'ala bless us to go back from here with a renewed conviction that we can make a difference. And, and it doesn't have to be something grand. We don't have to all go back and look for some group to join so we can do something. We can do something in an organized fashion and have to do that. But we could do something in our families, in our personal life, in our circle of friends, in our, amongst our relatives, amongst our immediate family, then that's a, a beautiful and wonderful starting point for working towards a better woman. Allah <laughs>